EDC is very excited about what's happening to this city and will happen over the next few years. Our role is to try and help guide and give advice to the city about how to increase the economic performance of the city. So the new board members, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you. For those board members that are leaving, thank you very much for all the time, energy and passion that you have devoted to EDC. 2012 was a really important transition year for EDC. We have been extraordinarily grateful for all the work and time Ron Gilbertson had done and the direction in which EDC was going, but we did see the need for new strategies. When I first came in, the most important thing you can do with an organization is to build a great team. Building the leadership capacity from the inside, attracting some new people from the outside, and really creating a management team that can manage the Shaw Conference Centre, our Economic Development Division, the Research Park, as well as tourism. I think Brad's been wonderful. He has been what we expected him to be, a creative, dynamic young man. He's made great changes in EEDC, and I think that uh, um, he's got a wonderful vision. He's going to be a tremendous asset to the City of Edmonton and its business community. I think we accomplished four really big things in 2012. Um, the first and most important is we moved back to a cluster-based strategy for our industries here in the city. And the second thing was we launched the film fund. We got the film fund going for the first time with our first film and our first investment. Third thing was we really worked with the city exceptionally well around an event strategy and attraction of events to the city. The fourth thing was a very successful labor program in attraction of uh, labor into this market from the Pacific Northwest and the U.S. military. And that was the number one goal that the business community told us to focus on in 2012, and I think we executed on that really well. EDC needs to be very focused on a few key strategies, and we're going to start to see those being rolled out in 2013. We think it'll be a really exciting time. So here at EEDC, what we are doing is defining a lot of those strategies. We have a collaborative China strategy that not only are we designing, but we're implementing by the end of the year. We're doing the same for a northern strategy to help Alberta and Edmonton-based companies do more business and work up in the north. Those are things that we take at a proactive approach in creating the strategy, putting the funding together to implement it, and then actually working with specific Edmonton companies to help them get there. We're out there working actively with business, with their investments to help them become more successful. So the most important thing for EEDC to do is take a five, seven, ten year view as to what's important for this economy long term. And if we want to outperform every other jurisdiction in North America, then we need to put those building blocks in place to create a strong, sustainable, diverse economy long term for the city of Edmonton. Edmonton's one of the most unique places in the world where you can come, you are welcomed, you can create things here, and you become a player and a critical component into the business community probably faster than anywhere else in the world. The attractiveness of that is something that allows CEOs to look at Edmonton and say, I can see myself there, I have the opportunity to build what I want to build. My staff can build their families, their communities, their education, their friendships. And that's a wonderful attractiveness for most businesses around the world to look at Edmonton in that lens and see it as a place for opportunity. We have to be bold. We have to think big. We have to be in the customer service business and we have to operate globally. And if we can emulate those types of uh, characteristics here as an organization, then we start modeling the way as to what we expect and what we need to demand in the business community. That's going to make our business community much more resilient much more competitive, much more productive, and that's a big focus of what we want to build here in the city. One of the most important things that makes us successful is a great relationship with the mayor, council, and the administration. That is a group and a collection of people that we can't operate independently from, and the more we're aligned with them, the more success we'll have in the marketplace. We've got a tremendous opportunity in front of us. Our unemployment is about the lowest in the country. Our GDP per capita continues to grow, but we can't take our eye off the bigger ball. We've got some concerns out there, and our industries cannot become complacent. We cannot become lazy. We need to invest in technology, research innovation. We need to expand into new markets. And those are the things that are gonna make Edmonton Industries successful years to come. As I look forward to 2013, the thing I look forward to the most is reporting back to council and the business community on what we accomplished the organization we built, the value we delivered, and also the value on public dollars that went into this organization. That's a change of language here, and it's a change of commitment, but I think we have the responsibility to deliver that back at the end of every year. Our job now is to deliver, and we've got a lot of work to do.